Hello and welcome to The Tech Show. Coming up this week, we see the new Fox transfer has just dropped. Pun intended. A new fork from Ozoki that they claim is all new. The Super Z, or Z, or Z. we're not sure, but we'll find out. Yep, and we've got some carbon chain rings, Rock Shocks bring back the silo, Yeti have got some updates, DVO have got some updates, and there's a new jib bike in town. And much, much more. OK, for the topic today, we're going to have a little game of Would You Rather. And so, to keep the energy high, I've enlisted another presenter! Ta-da! Three man techers! <laughs> Sup, people? Our editors are going to hate editing three voices. But hey, it's going to be fun. And I'm going to ask you two, Would You Rather, and we're going to bring mm. back one piece of tech from the past, and it's going to replace all, and you have to choose one. Replace okay? everything? Yeah, so let me give you my first example. Would you rather bring back skinny tires, no more fat tires, just like sub two inch tires everywhere, uh, or narrow handlebars? Oh. Really narrow, like old school retro Like narrow. 650 type. Yeah. 650's I... not narrow. <laughs> 650's narrow. It's not. Of course it is. You're That's what, not narrow. What is narrow? So you go for tires? Well, look, actually, Nino, he's on a 690 bar, I think. Nah, he's on a 740. No, he's not. Crazy he's on a little talk. bar. Crazy talk. Big fat tires. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not running those little narrow bars, no chance. Yeah, but you're For just a man who runs wheels. 760 on everything, yeah. regardless of the yeah. type of bike. XE bike, the whole lot, 760s. <laughs> and what are you going for then? I'll go for fat tires. You're mental. So you, no, so that means so that means you're having narrow handlebars. For the yeah, rest if of Nino your life. can do it, you, uh, you definitely can, bud. Yeah. <laughs> I I started on both and I hated both. But yeah. I, I think I would take skinny tires, you know, over narrow yeah, handlebars. Yeah, I take skinny tires. Yeah, for yeah, sure. No, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm just gonna flat all the time. I think that's a win for skinny tires there. Okay, would you rather bring back the front derailleur or the rim brake? Ah well. <laughs> Well, it's not a chat about what, uh, what rim brakes. Rim brake. yeah, I was going to say, a set of Maguras on there or something. Yeah, oh, okay. Maguras, ceramic rims. Oh, actually, Are not you bad. racing an EDR <laughs> on a Magura rim brake, though? You're not going to get brake fade? You'd surely rather have a front oh, trailer. I mean, you're both sort of making your compelling <laughs> arguments, but I'm going to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the front mech. I'm gonna keep the front mech. Weirdly, yeah. I have lost races to a front mech. Like dropping what did it, do? it, it drops and <laughs> it, was it gets, really fast. Yeah, <laughs> it like gets lost in your bottom bracket and chews all the paint off. Now I just no. Uh, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna take the front yeah. mech. Yeah, but I'm gonna take the front oh. mech as well, despite all of that, because rim brakes. No. Yeah. Wait, are you saying rim brakes? Look, rim brakes with like ceramic so rims. Controversial, isn't it? And hydraulic it's just got brakes. A <laughs> I think that is a win. It's good on a flat bar. The front no. <laughs> no, shut up. <laughs> all right, all right. Surely this is not going to divide. Elastomer suspension <laughs> or rigid, fully rigid oh, bike? Oh, elastomer bring him suspension. Back? Oh, really? Really? God, I'm not yeah. riding no rigid. Point. No. Are you bringing Gervin's like flex No, I ain't riding no rigid thing. <laughs> Judy's, Judy's were actually pretty good. They're oil damped no. and they had elastomers. I'm not riding a rigid bike. I think rather just have rigid. I mean, I oh, might as go. well just you two. get no. someone to throw hammers at win. me whilst I ride down the trail. All right, all right. Toe clips or old school bear claws? What are you bringing Easy, back? just flats. No, yeah, like the bear claw, you know, the, like the, the rat big, traps. Like the, the, the old the meat like... tenderizers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'd ride them, yeah. yeah. Would you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, over a toe clip. <laughs> yeah, completely. Toe clips, yeah. toe clips for the win. I, I like skin on my shins. No way. Oh, that's that's absolutely God. no way. Maybe you won't have any skin on your oh. knees. You won't be able to unclip. <laughs> so clips. Oh, hello. Is that 1940s postman? I've got your pedal still. Yeah. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> I'm running it. Rigid with bike, a trouser rigid clip. bike with some toe clips. All right, final, final one here. Long drop stems, like long drop Etsy. stem, yeah. Etsy, Etsy yeah. style, or fork stanchion covers. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I mean, what four stanchion covers? <laughs> well, they're just you're so practical. Uh, just, no. Well, no, they ruin your forks. They're really bad. <laughs> that is actually but, yeah, they're they're gonna gonna ride ride in them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's still better than a really long, horrid stem that points down. I like. But on an XC bike, drop. yeah, I like long drop. 
can always raise it. I, feel, I want to flip it over. <laughs> I just completely change it to Give a normal high rise. Right. With modern geometry, like you have like, if you had a slack head angle and a really long step, you yeah. just wouldn't, you well, wouldn't be able to you know what? turn the tail at some with, stage. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. I'm not paying for my suspension, so stick them fork covers on there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know yeah, what? yeah, bring them back. Bring back the stanchion. But however, I would I like to say if I'm paying, they're coming straight off. <laughs> I suppose you can yeah, at least take yeah, them yeah. off. What are you saying? Stanchions or long drops? Uh, the, the whole long stem, no. Oh. They're a really bad idea. So you're bringing stanchions? Yeah! Uh, okay. Long stems I think are that's, that is one we can all agree Jeez, on. Bring yeah. back the stanchion covers. No, no, and don't. No, we don't need to no, bring no, them I back. We either. just settled that. We are. Just, Sorry, guys, but we're bringing them back. Um, let us know down in the comments below, were there any glaring um, disagreements that you had with us? Surely not. I mean... <laughs> okay, surely well, many, but these, yeah. These are great art. This is controversial over here. Thank you. They're normal. <laughs>
steal spiders but it'll only cost about three times as much. So we're looking at 149 US dollars, which I know is expensive for a chain ring, but if it does last five times longer, then surely that is a saving. Um, so the carbon fiber spider is meant to add stiffness at the same weight. It's not there to lose weight. Uh, and they say it will withstand the torque of a diesel truck. And effectively, you'll break your chain before you even break that chain ring. Um, and it will last longer. So compatible for cinch cranks at the moment and only compatible with Shimano Hyperglide Plus chains at the moment. Hmm. Okay, interesting, interesting stuff. More exciting news. I'm very excited about this oh, because my right, first yeah. fancy fork was a silo. Was it? Yeah, yeah it was. So, Rock Trucks have brought out a domain and a silo. So, for older viewers, uh, more vintage <laughs> viewers, they may remember these names before. Silo was one of the first adjustable travel uh, forks that Rock Trucks brought out. Uh, it had the U turn feature, which was really cool that you could mm. change your travel on the fly. From four to five yeah. inches back in the day. Of yeah, it was wild. Registering yeah, it was huge. And yeah. And Domain was kind of like the burly fork. Um, yeah, so it's been brought back, a mm. new, um, and then we've got 30 mil, no, we haven't got 30 mil sanctions, that's what it used to have. 35 mil sanctions on both, sanctions, I should say. Three position uh, lever adjustment on the damper, so just really simple, nice, and it will work a long time. I think they've spent quite a long time developing the damper for it too. Um, 275 or 29er, uh, and yeah, 130 all the way up to 160. So. Yeah, a really good value option as well. Like pricing is, well, kind of half the price of some of the other forks we might have mentioned earlier in other shows. So coming in at sort of like starting points of five, three, nine dollars or six, four, five in euros. So yeah, still expensive, mindful of that, but a lot cheaper than quite a lot of the new forks out there. So really interesting. Mm, yeah, I kind of wish that they brought it out in that old gold colour that they used to have, the sparkly, okay. glittery silo golds. Um, but you know, not everyone's been into the gold forks that have been released recently, so probably not that popular. Anyway, uh, DVO have also updated their range of forks. Um, it's a bit of a reshaping, so they've redesigned the crown for better down tube clearance and turning capabilities apparently, and their D1 damper has a larger bladder now, so that means more uh, uh, sensitivity in the fork. Um, they've sort of adjusted their SL air system, which is a type of air on air spring, if that oh, nice. makes okay, look at uh, triple, sense. Triple chamber setup. Exactly, yeah. Nice. So, um, and they've also got a new machining process, which you might not care about, but effectively it's trying to bring up the quality of all of their forks to make sure that their bushings actually uh, fit and don't bind. So uh, these are now available in 140 to 160. Uh, I should have said this is the diamond fork, by the way, um, and it's 29 only, available in black, grey or factory green at 1,049 US dollars. Looks rad. Um, another thing that's rad, and down with the kids, is jibbing, doing tricks <laughs> on the trail. And the new Raw Jib V2, it may not be jib specific, I've just that's just the name. Uh, but it's effectively a short travel version, is it, is it Madonna? Yeah. yeah. it is. I always get that confused with the Trek bike. Um, but yeah, so aluminium bike that's burly, it's got really big pivots, it's sort of four bar bike. Um, yeah, it'd just be really interesting. Lots of adjustment in terms of the geometry, so uh, that helps with play around with head angle and stuff like that. But shorter travel, so hopefully more playful. Mm, yeah, and similar sort of adjustments now available as to the Madonna V2, and everyone's been loving that, so yeah. Um, Marzocchi also have released a brand new fork, although it kind of isn't, but it is. Um, let it's me explain. For them it's brand new, isn't it? It is brand yeah. new because it is a 38 mil stanchion fork. Um, this sort of 190, well, it's 150 up to 190, and this is new to Marzocchi. However, you may notice that there is a Grip X damper in there, and Grip X is obviously Fox's new damper, and that's because, well, Fox kind of owns. Marzocchi, but they're trying to keep true to the Marzocchi brand, which is very uh, fit and forget, um, very sort of type one fun rather than type two fun, which is go out and ride it and stop worrying about the minutia. Um, so they've gone for the Grip X damper, so it's a lot simpler. And also they've simplified some of the internals uh, in comparison to the Fox 38 in order to shave off some money because it's about 
affordability and fun over that sort of fine tuning, race tuning um, tech that you get on the Fox suspension, if that makes sense. So um, there is no valve bleeders on this. There's no floating axle. Um, it's a much simplified air spring over the Fox 38s, but it is effectively like a Fox 38 uh, with Grip X damper. And that is coming out at 999 US dollars. So quite a significant saving over a Fox um, and coming in glossy red or black, if that is your bag. I mean, if you're into free rides, the Braga, the, the Viking, mm. he, he's rocking one of those. Yeah. And he's a sponsored athlete, but it if he's not cool. broken it, I mean, it's a burly fork. I he's know. a big unit. I know. Big love to Braga. He's a good dude. Uh, and talking about breaking things, you may have broken things if you've been to the <coughs> dentist. And favourite dentist bike is the Yeti. <laughs> They've got a new update for their SB, which I, I feel like was super bike when they first released mm. it. So okay, more progressive rear end. Um, Bearings are now standard size, so they're easy to replace. That's actually a really good thing. A lot mm. of bikes come with, yeah, non-standard bearings, which are hard to hunt down. I'm thinking of, well, a bike brand that's not with us anymore. Well, but previously anyway. Yeti, shall well, we yeah, say, that's so true, they've changed yeah. this. Um, they've got an update to their Switch Infinity Link mm. um, with improved bearings and seals. I have seen some people wear through those quite quickly, but Very quickly. update is really good. Uh, and a wishbone link attached to the shock for more shock compatibility. Ah, because I feel like the old one had a bit of a yoke and some shocks weren't compatible. So that'd be really interesting. Thinking about the end user there, that's really cool. It is, yeah. And Switch Infinity, just for those fans, is... Mm. Well, it's like a virtual pivot point, effectively. It looks like it's got two tiny shocks, yeah. but they're not really. They're just moving that pivot around a bit. For extra initial sensitivity, was it, for? It's magic. Anyway, uh, last but not least is that Scott are continuing to put money into its Contessa range specifically for women, uh, women specific models. And as a result to celebrate, they have released their new signature color, um, which is kind of sparkly and it looks pretty cool. Excellent. And that's about all we'll I have to say on that, but it looks good. <laughs> Super, quiz time now. Always fun. Uh, there were clues in last week's show, which more people may have, may have noticed. Um, so the question was, what colour were the first Fox mountain bike forks that were released? Um, so, yeah. I would accept grey or gunmetal grey or silver, to okay, be honest. Wow. But right, they're, okay. they're sort of a mix of the three, I would say. Yeah. That is not the, you know, one of the first, is it? Because the fork logos That's a talus. are... Yeah. yeah, a bit later, um, but it's similar to that. Um, and I think someone said, oh, Fox Forks were in grey silver colour with the blue stickers and they come, came out in 2001. So yeah, uh, Fran Joe Orlick, thanks for the good knowledge there. And here's the winners on the screen. Quite a few this week, actually, well quite done. impressive. Another week, another quiz question. <laughs> That's what you've another, all been waiting for. Another forking question. <laughs> So, we mentioned briefly that there's a new RockShox silo coming out, but what was the unique feature of the OG silos when they came back? Mm, something about that travel was unique. Mm, we may have mentioned it. Yeah, get the, get the proper naming. If, bonus points if you can name the special features uh, of like the adjuster. Oh! Yeah, you'll get extra bonus nerd points. Nerds. <laughs> Okay, comments from you lovely people. And we were talking about the new Fox Tech on the dampers last week. And Harry L 2020 said, uh, it's also worth noting they changed the, fo the fork bushing. Uh, it's the same diameter and width as the old ones. So backwards compatible, but supposedly more sensitive and allows oil to flow better. Good spot, uh, Harry, I hadn't noticed that. Oh, yeah, right, no, that's good to see. Uh, the reverse arch, this one is from, yeah, a very good, well-named. Uh, <laughs> Commenter, uh, Manatee has been a proponent of this forever. This is true. They were That's very, very, said. very early adopters. Uh, and yeah, everyone has, it's always been frowned on. Uh, has now, it though? I don't think anyone frowned upon it. it I just think there not, were it negative vibes towards was it, there? even though it's stiffer, as oh, Fox have now believed and now everyone thinks it's cool. So yeah, uh, yeah <laughs> indeed, run off to get your Manitou Meza Pro. They are very good. Yeah. I, I took a Dorado apart for a shoot fairly recently. Mm -hmm. Actually really nice to work on, really easy. I was a bit intimidated, but super easy to take apart. Nice, so dad and daughter account says, gotta admit, I've never messed with the fork settings aside from air. Ha <laughs> ha, oh dear, come on guys. Um, give me a fork with the right travel and a fork that holds air and I'm a happy guy. Yeah, there's a lot to be said for just a single dial that either you lock out or you pro pedal or you're wide open. Yeah, I think, I think there's a lot of, um, 
smoke and mirrors that's talked about suspension damping and what things can do when actually can you can break it down to it's not that complicated i think mm. i think sometimes it's that one of those things of you know trying to be in the know and you're like oh yeah i'm really cool and nervous <laughs> and lots of suspension <laughs> folks actually it's yeah you don't have to you don't have to worry you too don't much. have to have it uh, Adrian Wilkinson's 2547 has said is looking forward to the Danger Homes, who's a wonderful Swedish person with very good thighs, uh, <laughs> who likes to do wild builds. The best description. Light. Yeah, builds. he's looking forward to uh, someone sanding down a set of the Gold 32 Stepcasts. Oh, that would um, be sacrilege. I sure. think no. Get stuck in. Go for it, Danger <laughs> Home. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we could. Yeah, you could do it if you get a set. File it down. I'm not filing down. down. I quite like him actually. Okay. Um. Uh, anyway, Adrian is, is going to stick to his RFX 36s because he's an average rider, unable to tell the difference between shim stacks or dampers. Shim stacks are dampers, and you've got really good ones in your fork. Yeah. So yeah, you know more than you do. Um, Jim thirteen said, "Didn't Fox consider muddy rides when they got Skynet to design the new Fox?" Harsh but and fair. And GPA says, agrees. He says, "Does AI know what happens with mud?" <laughs> I mean, because of mean, the lattice work at the back. Well, yeah, I mean, it I'm does. Guessing. Yeah, I can see why they've done it, but then also, yeah, mud. They do live in California. Yeah. Maybe they don't think about uh, it. Fight the cable said AI generated arch. Uh, what he said to that is just stress simulation software. I, I would generate a new fork, do your taxes on the side, call, call for your next dentist appointment. I think all valid. Um, I kind of agree. I I've don't seen know. similar stuff where, uh, yeah, I think it's nice to say it's AI that's designed. But really, all these it's a computer aided design, isn't it? I, I was told it was AI designed and then they reworked, the engineers reworked what was actually possible to create. So, so that's apparently why didn't there the was taxes. a bit in there, but yeah, no, I don't know. Okay. Anyway, what we're looking forward to this week is actually Sea Otter Week. Oh, it's so exciting. Is this like Shark Week? Yeah, like that. <laughs> more oh, bike not sea otter. Tech. Ah. It's more bike tech. So sea otter it classic. Is Got you. Big not event actual sea otters. Yeah. In Monterey, in California. Neil, the Don, Don Hugh is over there well, right now, and he will be bringing out some specials all weekend on brand new tech, new releases. So if you like all that, watch it. Do. Oh, that's it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>